Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K25 next year NBA video. And today I have a special center build for you guys, man. Y'all know I like the seven foot centers, man. I, I love the one that I have and I try to create builds similar to that because I see what that build can do. But keep in mind, no build plays exactly the same. So your build may move a little different even though you have the same attributes. But with this build right here, I wanted certain things on the build to give you a chance to go out there and be great on defense and do the things that center's supposed to do. So make sure you guys watch the video to the end so I can show you how I created this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know now, you know. It's like button time and I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description to join the discord hit the link in the description and follow me on twitch as you can see we're all going to the center position like i said seven foot tall is um you know probably the highest i would go um you know you can go lower you can go higher it's totally up to you 241 on the weight 75 wingspan now i really wanted to get the max wingspan but when you go with the max wingspan you have to do certain things with the uh, speed and stuff like that let me show you what i'm talking about now so with this build i wanted the max wingspan as you can see with the max wingspan the strength go down for what i don't know and then you had to take your weight up and when you take your weight up you lose the speed or whatever and i wanted a 71 speed on this build so i can get a certain badge on a certain level so what i had to do was take the wingspan down and i had to take the weight down as well so we can get that 71 speed so that's how i ended up with what i have but let's go ahead and get into it now with the finishing on this build you want to be able to go out there and do some standard dunks you want the close shot um driving dunk and layup is not as important but it is important but not like the close shot is in my opinion because man we played a game last night and dude had a shack bill he just was throwing stuff up i'm talking about covered and everything he just was throwing stuff up around the rim and it was going in so that's close shot you feel what i'm saying so we wanted to make sure that we have that some people probably have theirs in the high 90s but you know that's a personal preference but i think at 84 is, it's a perfect spot um but that's where we're going to leave it at now we want some post control right so with the post control we want to be able to go in the paint and do with some moves and get some buckets easy buckets okay so we have post up port on gold we will get post powerhouse on gold so that's why i took it to 87 now you can take it higher if you want to it's totally up to you standing dunk is very 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 important for a six foot ten and up build because you want to be able to get those contact dunks now my shack bill has an 87 driving dunk and i, I think i should have just went with more standing dunk but you know it is what it is um we're going to go with a 90 on that and that does give us gold rise up. And then what I did was I just did use the max plus one and put my rise up on Hall of Fame, okay? Or you can wait till you get your plus five and just put it on the standard dunk and get um, Hall of Fame rise up like that. Now, driver dunk, you don't need that super high, but we do want to get posterized. So what I did with my center build, I do max plus one on the posterizer. So we got bronze posterizer and the max plus one put it on silver posterizer. So that's why I think I get a lot of contact dunks with my build because I have that rise up on Hall of Fame and that posterizer on silver. Okay, so we're going to come down to the physicals. Like I said, we do want that 71 speed. That was very important for what we wanted with high flying denier. We're going to get that badge on a really high level. As far as the agility, it's not super high. It can go to a 59, but you're going to be slow regardless. It no matter what you do. Um, as far as the strength, we're going to max that out now. I don't like that because I didn't leave room so somebody can add something to the strength because you need to leave space to get the plus 5. So, you know, go in and change that if you want to. It's totally up to you. Now, the vertical is very important this year. My dude really be jumping high as hell. I ain't gonna lie, man, with an 83 vertical and this it's it's good. Okay. And as you can see, those are badges that the vertical is help uh the vertical help with. Pogo, rise up, area wizard, high fly denier, posterizer. Rise up is in there, as y'all can see. So the vertical does help you out. Okay. Now we get post up port, post powerhouse, rise up, all that stuff on gold. Paint prize on silver, great badge right there. Let's go ahead and get to the green bean, make your girl scream badge. This build does have an 80 mid-range shot. Now, focus more on the mid-range because there's a lot of teams out there that run 2-3, man. We've been running into a lot of teams that run 2-3. And if you don't have mid-range, you can't um, get in the middle and kind of make decisions because this build can get in the middle. You can make the passes from the middle. What I would do is I would get right there and I was, you know, have people cutting back door or whatnot because somebody's going to have to come up and guard me. Now, you can put somebody in the post and then pass out the post. That will work too. Um, it's totally up to you. Now, with the three-point shot, <clears throat> excuse me, all we have on that is the 75. 
Um, I know you're going to be like, oh, they're too low, this and that. Well, you got the 80 mid-range shot. You still get set shot specialists. You don't get um, the other badges, but you still get um, dead on bronze. You got set shot specialists on silver, and you also have post fade feet on one go. So that's something you can look into if you really just want to go out there and get in the post and do some post fades. That would be another um, dimension you can add to your build, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see the video. And I need everybody mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Pass accuracy, we're going to get that to a 75. That does give us a break start on silver. I have a 75 pass on my 7 foot center, and that build can pass really, really good and have court set. And with the fast breaks, you know, you can get the ball up the court every single time. Um, for the people that have higher passing, they can get it there better. Um, but you just have to watch it because the intercept is so good this year, and you don't want to be throwing no, um, no, no uh, interceptions or get no turnovers, you know what I'm saying? So be careful with that. Just make sure you know where you're outletting the two. Don't just press the button. Know who you're passing the ball to, okay? But anyway, let's get to the defense. So with the defense, the reason I had that 71 um, speed or wanted the 71 speed was because of the shot blocking. Now, on my build, I got an 88 shot blocking, and don't nobody come around me in the paint. I'm blocking everything with that 88, and I have an 82 interior, right? So with the 88 block, as you can see, you get some good badges, but I wanted to go a little bit further, okay? Because I see what I do with the 88. I can only imagine what you're going to do with the 93. So that's what I did. I took it to a 93, and that gave us gold paint patrol instead of silver. That gave us Hall of Fame high flying denier, man. That is great for this build. You're going to have a lot of Hall of Fame badges on this build. Not worried about perimeter still. Um, you can, we ain't worried about that anyway. Anyway. Now, we come down to the rebound, and I want to flip these around because me personally, I think offensive rebounds are really good and get some easy putbacks or um, easy uh, buckets once you get the rebound, um, you know. But we went with the defensive rebound because it's a little bit cheaper to do it this way. So we did a 96 on the defensive rebound to give us Hall of Fame box, Hall of Fame pogo, Hall of Fame rebound chase. Like, look at those Hall of Fame badges, man. There's three of them right there. And we get one right there. You know, if you want paint patrol on Hall of Fame, you got to get your block to a um, 97. And you got to get your interior to a 84. So if you really just want that badge, man, make, find a way to get your um, your interior up one tick. Okay, so they'll put it at 83. You can use four for your block, and you can put the one on um, interior defense. You can do it like that, and then that way you'll have paint patrol on Hall of Fame too. But that's what we have for this build, man. Pretty solid build in my opinion. Let's get into the shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not click back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Got old Jack Sigma. We got uh, old Vooch. And we got Valetunas, okay? And the build is the two-way inside the arc threat, which will trick a lot of people. But that's the build. I'm out of here, man. Chat!